Good hit. Come on. Come on. Hey everybody, we're going to start with some uh, self-defense for the brown belts, okay? So we're going to do the arm bar from the mount, and uh, I'm sure Dolly and, and Roxy will be entertaining us with some toys. But this will be really fun, so if you have a partner at home or you want to arm bar mom and dad, that'll be a lot of fun. Just mom and dad, make sure you remember to tap uh, so they don't break your elbow, okay? So I have my partner lay on her back for me. Good, good, good. A little closer this way. All right, start on top on your knees. And if you're in this position, well, you're in pretty good luck, right? Because then you can strike, you can hit. Uh, but a lot of times people grab you or pull you in and they, they don't want to, you know, stop the fight. So a good thing to do is to grab them first and then pin one hand to their chest and one to yours. Then you're going to lift up one foot, then the other, and keep your hips low. Okay, if you're more advanced, you can put your weight on your partner's chest and pop up with both feet at the same time. Then the leg that, <clears throat> in my case, my right leg, is gonna swing over her head. It has to be the one that goes around the arm that's straight. So I go around the arm and then lay back. And when I lay back, I wanna keep her arm extended. So I like to hug, keep my knees in tight, and I lay back. And I wanna keep my hip pressure on the elbow and there's the tap, okay? Now you may be laying all the way down. I got a bit of a couch in the way and a, a very cute puppy licking my face. So uh, either way, you wanna keep your knees squeezing tight, pulling on the wrist and, and uh, apply the pressure. Her thumb will be kind of facing up. If it's turned, her elbow will bend one way or the other way, you won't get a good lock. You wanna have the palm up or the thumb up and then compress and lock. Okay, let's try that one more time. Thanks, Dolly, for the kisses. All right, so one more time. This time I'll do the other arm, okay? You might not see me all the way, but you'll see what, what her arm is doing. So I grab, pin this arm to my chest this time, lift up as, as uh, Lindsay gets some kisses there. Now, more advanced, I wanna roll my partner on her side like that. So I use my legs to roll her bring the leg over, lay on the shoulder, and roll back. So I want my knees squeezing tight, her palm is up, squeeze and break the elbow. Thanks, Dolly, for the assist. Okay, everybody, we're gonna go into some pot tight eye practice right now. So get ready, get some space. All right, girls, ready? Ready to do some pot tight eye? All right, here we go, ready? Pot tight eye. Boy, right hand on the fist. Hey, Roxy, I need you to move. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so right knee's gonna lift, left elbow comes back, and forearm block this way. You wanna be uh, palm flat against the side of your forearm, nice and low. Okay, we'll do that again. That's new for you. Yeah, I wanna sink down, scare the puppies. Then I'm gonna turn with my left arm under the shoulder, and use an inside block. I'm gonna get a good forward stance, then switch arms, two. Chamber to the ear, right hand comes across the body. Step over and outside block across, then left inside block. Okay, we'll do that part again. Ready? Pate night. Wow. Joy. Right knee lifts. One. Left arm inside block. Two. Right arm in head lock, three. Chamber, right leg's gonna step wide. Outside block, four. Right hand, five. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust for space. Now my right leg pulls in, drop low and scoop. Lift the knee and back fist high. Then left arm, inside block. We'll do that new part again. So make sure your right foot's forward, inside block. Look to the right. Feet together, scoop, lift, and land. Then left arm blocks. One more time for that new piece. Inside block, look, back, scoop, lift, hit. Then left arm blocks. 
One more move for now. Look to the front. Slowly bring the left leg into the right and chamber to the hip. You want your feet underneath your shoulders, hands at your right side. So again, and look, slow. Okay, we'll start that kata one more time from there. Ready? Patsai dai. Bow. Joy. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Look. Remember, space check. And scoop. Six. Seven. Look to the front. Eight. So eight moves so far to here. Now nine, you reach the palm out, and extend the grab forward. Then punch, and then bring it to the shoulder. When you do this, you want your elbow pointing forward, your fist pointing inward, and then you twist your hip, and you turn the right foot. So it's like a back fist strike or a block, and you twist the right side only. Right hand is out. So I do that again, I'll start from here, I reach, Punch, then in, and twist. Then left hand punches, and I straighten out both feet, still with the knees bent. Bring the left arm in, and then twist only the left side uh, foot there. My right shoulder goes back, but my right foot stays. Okay, let's try it again from here. I open, reach, punch, twist. Punch, twist. Next, I'm gonna step forward and I use my back stance. So I take my left foot, I step, I make part of that back stance, then chop one. Chop two, make sure you're always moving through the center with your knees. Three, and then the fourth one, you go backwards. Fold, okay? So we'll do that whole first part of the kata one last time today. If you already know the kata, Use it as a chance to make the details perfect and really work it. Work on the rhythm too. I'm going to go over that a little more now. Ready? Pat side eye. Joy. One, two, three, four, five. Look, scoop and hit. Six. Look, slow. Reach. Punch. Twist. Punch, twist, step and chop, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the proper rhythm you want to work into performing that kata. All right, so again, this is for our snakes class, uh, kid brown belts. Really practice those skills. Start with some arm bars, have some fun. If you got some puppies at home, I'm sure they're going to enjoy that with you guys. We miss you guys. See you soon. Thank you.